Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another element that is block quotes. Let's try to see it. So I'm opening it in a slideshow. HTML also has a features available for marking up quotations. Which element you use depends on whether you are marking up a block or an inline quotation. So we are having two features for marking up the quotations. One is the block level quotation and also the inline level quotation. So whatever the quotation you whatever the uh, in which way you want to show this quotation you can show it in the two different types of elements. If a section of block level element so something like be it a paragraph or multiple paragraphs or a list etc. So is quoted from somewhere else you should wrap it inside a block quote element. So for example if you have any data or any a paragraph or any text content that you are showing uh, that you are taking it from other anything something like quotation you want to ge get some moral quotations or something like other quotations if you want to show it in your html page means so instead of wrapping it in a paragraph element we can wrap it in the block quote element so that it, it will be able to show it that it is a quotation you can also include an ER url pointing to the source of the code inside a site attribute so you have took the quotation from the another website and you have mentioned it in the block quote element so you can also add a URL to that to that one. So mentioning the source of that quotation by using a site attribute. Site attribute will be attribute for the block quote element. Inline quotation also works in exactly the same way, but it uses the queue element. So block quote el block quote element it will provide that uh, it will it will show the text content in the block level content, whereas this queue element will show the quotation in the inline level elements. So that is the difference between this Q element and the block quote element. So let's try to see the practical implementation of this one. So if I open here and I am creating a new file that is nothing but block quotes. So I am creating here block quotes dot html. So I have created like this. Now let's take this html. Okay. Now here let's say that I have a quotation. So h3 I am taking. So the Leela web dev something like this. I will create a quotation for me. So Leela web dev quotation. So now, if you want to mention the quotation, so what I can do is, if you want, you can in, you can add it inside a p element. And yeah, uh, normally the so here the block quote what it will be there is. So you are the only responsible for your success and failure so this is the quotation let's say that okay so you are the only guy who is responsible for your success and failure so this is a quotation let's say this is a quotation normally if i try to see this one in an output how it will try to look let's try to see it so here this is the way it will be showing you now this one is showing exactly like normally what i can say is like a paragraph but i want to show it as a quotation why because the so this is a quotation now what I can show here inside this p element I can add it in the block code ok so this is the block code now let's copy this block code now here let me let me try to add it here so I have added it here now you are you are right so that's it so now we have added for the block code now let's try to see the output how it will look like now if you try to see the output here you will be able to see that Something a padding and a margin left has been applied to this one, showing it in the somewhat uh, somewhat has been moved left side little bit pixels. Now you can also add a strong tag and also em tags also for this one. For example, if I want to write so as this one is important, so I can take this strong and add it for the success and also for this success for this one also I can add a strong. So this is the way I can add it. Now if I try to see the output here, success and failure, you got it in the strong. And also if you want to mention the em tags also, you can mention it. So wherever you want to mention this em tags, you can also mention the em tags for this one. So let's try to see. Yeah. And if I try to see this output, see responsible, you got it here. And if you want, you can also make it as a strong. Okay. In, as a strong also, you can use it. So we have added the strong also now let's try to see the output like this we can be able to show so this is how we will be showing the quotation using the block code so whenever you are trying to use the quotation 
that you if you want to show it in your html website means you can use this one and also now this quotation is not yours you got it from the somewhere from the leela web dev or some youtube channel so you can mention using this site attribute the website so we can we got it from the uh, something like example.com or something like this okay so you can also mention the site of this one you can assume that when we click on this one it will go to that like that like that it will not happen just we are providing it for the reference itself so this one does not affect any output so just for the attribute purpose we have used here so i am telling you that block quote has an attribute site so that you can add the reference to this one and the same thing now if you try to see here so you are the you are the only responsible for your success and failure so this one you got it in the block level right so now in some scenarios you will be able to you will be able to get a situation that the quotation you want to show it in a inline so you want to show it in a paragraph itself so whenever the paragraph is going on so in that paragraph in the middle you want to show it the quotation for that one at that time you cannot use the block level for example let's say that here we are having another paragraph so here i am going to write an inline quotation okay so here i will be writing so the same thing you are so the same thing what i will try to do is you are the only guy responsible for the success and failure so i am copying and pasting the same thing okay now if i try to see the output so here i am able to see the text like this like a paragraph now if i now the uh, as we know that this one is a quotation now let's try to wrap it with a block quote so if i write it with if i wrap it with a block quote so this is a block level element now immediately what it will try to do immediately it will come in the second new line like this so it should not happen like this so it should continue with the paragraph so in order to continue with the paragraph what we need to use is so instead of using this block quote we need to use the queue so here also you need to change it to closing tag also queue so this is an inline level element now if you try to see the output so here you will be able to see some double quotes here like this it has been applied so mentioning that it is an single quote now this is a single uh, this is a inline quote sorry this is an inline quote for this one so you are the only responsible for your success and failure now for the queue also you will have an option to write the site attribute also so you can write the site attribute for the queue element also you can write it like this so one now we have implemented the site attribute for the queue element and also for the block quote element so now you need to understand only the two things that whenever you are having a, a when you are, whenever you want to show the quotation in a block level element means we need to use the block quote or otherwise when you whenever you want to show the quotation in inline level element that means it should continue with the paragraph it should not affect the paragraph to come in a new line means then you can use the queue attribute queue element so both the elements takes the attribute site attribute so that you can add the reference of this uh, 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 reference url of this quotation so wherever you have found this one so you can add the uh, url reference for that one and uh, uh, and it, the, this site attribute will not affect anything in the output so it will not provide any link or anything just we need, we will be adding it for the semantic meaning itself so this is how we will be writing the quotations in the html so whenever you want to use the quotations means we need to use either block quote or the queue element whichever is appropriate for you hope you understood about this block quote if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you